Hello, Facebook. What's going on? Yo. Yo, everybody. Uh, how are we? Hello. How we doing? How we doing? Welcome in episode 18, Mantor. We're back. We're back. They haven't got rid of us yet. Hey. Hello, Can Betson. I believe we're at episode 18. Jeez. 18. Crazy. Crazy to think about then. That's a good amount of episodes. It's a good. And the, uh, the super sub in tonight. What's yes. going on, Ryan? How many episodes have you been on, Betson? Is this your oh, third, like fourth? Three, I think. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Substitute Betson coming on in. So Tim's out for the night. He's got uh, early mornings tomorrow with the Xbox uh, One X uh, Series X. No, not One X. That's already been and gone. Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S release. Uh, so he's up being busy retail man. So I've come in and, and helped him out, give him a bit of a schnooze. So, Jared starts the stream, immediately leaves. That sounds about right. Oh, I, had to, I, had to, I had to shut the, I had to be shut, I'm fucking out of here. I had to shut the big um, glass door. Anyway, we're good, we're good. I mentioned Xbox tomorrow. He's like, oh, fuck, I forgot. And then he's like, <laughs> he's out. I've, I've, already got, I've already got mine right here. What are you talking about? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we miss you, Tim. We hope you have a good sleep and you pre- prepare for battle tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nuts. Jesus. Anyway, Lloyd, I gotta say, you look majestic in that uh, that angle there. It looks fantastic. Yeah, new chair, new angle, new camera. <laughs> you, you look like you're about to like throw down Ten Commandments or something. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> I don't remember Moses saying that. <laughs> no, that was uh, that was Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that was the closest thing to uh, Jeebus that I know. <laughs> Jeebus. <laughs> Still think the no beard oh. look works for you, Jared. Jade, you're insane. I've got a bit of stubble now, so it's, it's all right. I've got a little moustache going, a bit of chopper. It's it's doing it for me, except for what, except for the right, like that angle when you get the light on the chopper. Like it looks pretty good. I think I think it makes you look younger. I've got a bit of no, uncle chop chop. I reckon. I reckon. Yeah, it's looking good now, man. You know, getting a bit of shadow there going. I like it. I really do. I actually um used the razor again uh, on the weekend to define the moustache. And I, th- I managed to actually shave without ripping my skin and um, turning into a massive blister. It was good. It was good fun. Nice. Took you me look back. a little bit more moisturized. Did you I, have to I look feel very up a YouTube? more. Did you have to look up a YouTube video? No, how to I shave? just I did the old um, flashbacks like year 10 <laughs> shaving. I was like, oh, that's right. Yes. A little bit of toilet paper over here. Mm. And I didn't cut at all. It was really good. And now, after shave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't got any. Uh, that's, that's the one thing I was lacking. I was just like, uh, okay, I'll just put some of that stuff on. I don't know, whatever. It is I what it is. Imagine Jared as a full home alone, like putting on aftershave oh, for the first time. I would have. Oh, that would have. Oh, that would have been so bad the first time. Have been terrible. Are you gonna, are you gonna have to like sunbake your face to like recolor this yes, part of your? I will. Re- 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 recolor your jawline. It's like when Homer shaved and he still had yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back in the uh, but um, we're up to we're nearly at sixteen hundred for for my um November I'm I'm raising on uh Twitch so we're nearly at sixteen hundred US so we're at like twenty two hundred Aussie so pretty good. That's good. Pretty good. Um, I haven't mans. Oh, well, I've uh, let's keep the manscaping down low. You know, that's, that's, what that's the area that gets manscaped. That's it. Usually, that's it. Yeah. What have you been up to this week, Lloyd? What's been happening, mate? Um, I've had a pretty good week. Yeah, it's kind of been all over the place. Um, had a massive week on my feet. Done heaps of uh, heaps of walking. Um, trying to keep up with all the boys in the Strava Club. Mm. Uh, we had some paranormal investigators come round to the station on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was quite uh, that That's was so quite mad. In- that was quite interesting. So and um, yeah, other than that, just just work busy busy at work. Weather's been really nice, so brings plenty of people out. Plus the uh, the old ring of steel is finally down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. The, the Ring of Steel. Yeah, I heard about the Ring yes. of Steel. It, it, oh, it, it sounds yeah. like an old like radio reference. The Ring of Steel. Yeah. Yeah. So we can finally have some people from Melbourne. I could. We can finally see our family and friends oh, from down yeah. in Melbourne again. Which do you have great. any? I know you got family. Do you have friends? <laughs> do I? Have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Other okay. than uh, other than Ryan Betson and and you guys. Yes. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's yeah. nice. No. Why do you yeah. say Ryan first? Like uh, <laughs> Ryan's everywhere today. Ryan's, he doesn't, he doesn't if, pick if, on if, me, if Ashley. You, Ryan became the new Jerd today. He he was yeah, everywhere I, today. I, I had my moment as Jerd. Did you did you enjoy it? 
It oh, was, speaking of Jerd, I saw the Jerd bus today in Bendigo. I was like, Bendigo. Oh, that bus. <laughs> and we, we lost it. It went straight into the depot and I was like, ah, yeah. son of a Just with all the other Jerd buses in the depot. That's it. Yeah. Never <laughs> to be seen again. There you go. No, that's it. Cool. Cool. Um, with the investigators, I used to watch that show on Foxtel. And what got me was when everyone sees a ghost, right? It's like in your normal, like, Anyone that says, I saw a ghost, there's nothing like unusual about when they see the ghost. But when the investigators go in, it's always at midnight. It's always with all the lights off. It's always like this. No. They're always incredibly startled. Just go in there and, and just go in there and just sit down like a normal person. Just wait. Yeah. I just got that episode of South Park going yeah. around and around. Oh, don't hear it. It, it sounded like a... <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so scared. It's like, that's yeah. their TV. What's this warm fluid coming out of my pants right now? It's <laughs> running down my leg. <laughs> it's ectoplasm. <laughs> uh, what have you been uh, doing this week, Ash? What's been going on, mate? Oh, mate, uh, today is day... Uh, it's my 10-month anniversary since hey. starting to manage. 10 months? Day Ten 301. Months. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm a few days behind. I've done a bit of math and uh, I've looked at the <laughs> calendars. I think I'm three or four days behind, but uh, I need to confirm that. But uh, it is officially because I not, started on Did you not January. do an episode on your very first day on it? Yeah, I did. So when but, was the date of that? Uh, no, 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 because like, with the with the videos, because I do a break up of like live videos and other weird things. I've I think I've lost track of a day oh. somewhere and skipped the day or mm. vice versa. So um, I actually think it's like more like day three oh five or something. Okay. But regardless, today is ten months to the day. Get in. Uh, yeah, yeah, smash it, Ash. Yeah, man. It's um I'm I'm working hard this week to get to fifty kilos like total. That's a big one. That's a big one. Yeah. That's huge. Massive. Mate, the, like if my body just figured out how to lose weight. I think <laughs> it just like it decided like because I've had like months and months of just like yeah, little tiny losses every week, and then it suddenly decided, hey, let's lose one point two kilos this week. I'm like, fuck yeah! And mm. then uh, hopefully that continues that trend. So I got eight hundred grams to lose this week to get to fifty kilos weight loss on my ten month anniversary. Tune in so, on Thursday. Hey, check out his YouTube on Thursday. Thursday. Wait, but we got um, on Wednesday night, State of Origin, uh, <laughs> Gang Zoo, and uh, Jerd, he's found his voice at halftime. And, I, um... No, I was not downtrodden. I said at halftime, 10 nil, we were in front because they should have been 20 nil up. Mm. You know who's going to find their voice on uh, find their voice? I'm turning to, I'm, I'm jealousy. Um, um, you know who's going to find their voice on Wednesday night? Uber Timmy, when Queensland winner get it, he owes me some Skrilla. <laughs> What an absolute fool. Absolute fool. You can take yep. bits. Uh, but yes, look, I'll so take long. bits. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you 10 years worth of subscri free subscriptions. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, just um, looking forward to uh, the weigh-in, looking forward to Origin. And the weekend was a oh, pretty big week. Um, it's my daughter. We had a first meeting at her big school. Actually, she's going to primary oh. school. So bought uniforms and she's so cute i just uh, uh just stop growing up Alyssa. Just yeah stay small. you want to put a, you want to put a brick on their head not like mainly you want to just keep him stay there just just weigh him down just Alyssa, start smoking <laughs> stop growing um <laughs> men, men, men men talk and men say do not condone Smoking no, children, or, or giving children, or children yes. smoking, yes. or we putting bricks on their heads. Yes, we, we don't we don't condone anything. <laughs> Healthy lifestyle. Uh, um, so Ryan, what's going on with you? Uh, not much with me, man. It's uh pretty much uh, the same same as always. Doing the usual uh, content creation, my podcast, etc. Uh, we're heading right into the PS5, so things are starting to get a little bit gnarly for me, which is awesome. Uh, I've had a couple of reviews going up. I've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla review going up in like an hour. So if anyone's over there on the YouTubes, they can check, check that bad boy out. The game is mad. Uh, yeah, other than that, like not a whole lot, really. Shoulders getting a whole lot better, which is awesome. I've been able to um, walk a bit more and do a little bit more movement, which is cool, because similar to Ash, like I... I, I sort of plateaued for a little bit and then went back up and now it's gone back the other way again. I'm very happy. Like I'm, I'm almost like 27 in a little bit kilos now, which down, which is awesome. Well, you need, you um, need good shoulders to carry us this entire episode. So hopefully it holds down. That's yeah. what I'm hoping. Like mm. I, I really think it's good to go. Um, I'm, I'm still very, uh, you know, anti plover. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> fuck them so hard. But uh, yeah, no, this week's been really cool, man. And I'm looking forward to the next week. 
you know, so they're prepared five in two days. I got, I got a couple of days off work. Oh, it's exciting. Ladies, for me. ladies and gentlemen who don't know, a plover is a native bird that it's attacked a garbage Ryan bird. and made him fall over and hurt his shoulder. <laughs> Worst story ever. Oh, it is. It's like <laughs> such a like, most tame bird on the planet. It's just there, like, you know, just picking no, out. They're worms, like, no, they're not. They're just No, they're the not. Plovers are the worst. No, they've got little poison, yeah, got poison a things. thousand of them everywhere. Plover. They've got little poison things. They're little. Yeah. Pterodactyls. Oh, jeez, you guys are soft. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. Uh, anyway, so uh, guys, we're going to be doing um, a few. Before we do that though, toys. Jared, man, how's your week been? Oh, thank you, Ryan, for remembering a uh, little oh. old me. Ash, Ash sometimes just forgets that I'm even here, so it's nice to be remembered. Um, you're Wait, welcome. Who said you're, that? You're welcome who back that? anytime, Betson. Tim, who? Who's Tim? <laughs> um, anyway, my week was all right. Um, I had my son's Melbourne Cup day at the pub. That was fantastic. I rode the uh, tab machine all day. Great fun. Um, oh, and I also shared my birthday with your with your lovely children. Yes, yeah, so my um, eldest turned nine on Melbourne Cup Day, and my twins turned six on Friday with bets, and he turned much. He was thirty one. I'm thirty one. Thirty one. Yes. So my twins turned six on uh, Friday. They turned six on the six, but I didn't back six at the cup. What an absolute moron! Anyway. No, nah, because that would that would in like that would have you know pulled Satan involved. It would have been crazy. Oh, that, that is just, true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so I don't want to I don't want to invoke the Lord of Darkness. Not yet. Anyway, not yet. Um, it's been good. Not I've, when there's a profit to be made. No, exactly. No, I've um been streaming this week as normal. <laughs> um, checking out the new Xbox console in secret. And tonight after this midnight, I'm playing the Xbox Series S with Valhalla. Boom. So there you go. Uh, that's it. That, that's great, my man. Way. That's it. Yeah, I can't wait. I just, I've just finished playing um, Odyssey, and Odyssey was. I wasn't excited for Valhalla. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't. I loved Origins. Odyssey, I sort of skipped because I heard it was a lot of ship stuff, and I'm not a massive fan of that. But then I played Odyssey, and it was fantastic. So I'm really keen. For, um, uh, so I just, I just like uh, uh, Peck, uh, old Pexter's comment here. What's wrong with Danny Glover? That's right. Danny Glover was in my street, jumped out at me. He's like, hey, I'm like, ah! And then, <laughs> Danny Glover. Hey, remember me for twins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, my, 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 cool. my. But what right. I was trying to say before, before I was uh, interrupted by uh, Ryan. <laughs> uh, yeah. We are doing a few, uh, a couple of giveaways tonight. Uh, we uh, actually don't have a bloke of the week lined up. Not saying that there haven't been blokes of the week, but um, we're so just... For those of you at home, if just you know, Ash thinks you were all shit this week. Uh, he's like, no standout blokes, not one. <laughs> I said it just like that, and then Ryan's like, yeah, but we really need to pick a we pick a bloke of the week, don't we? Really pick someone, someone with that hard work, I'm sure. <laughs> Jesus, me, I was like, it saves me doing some work. Oh, I'm cool. <laughs> that's that's all good. But Stick around because there's uh, two, uh, like we're doing a couple of giveaways and uh, anyone can win. We so will, we will spin. spin that bitch. Don't worry. It will be spun. We'll spin, yeah. we'll spin that bitch. Don't worry. Um, so what are, we, what are we chatting about? We sort of touched on it already. We are talking, actually, before we even get to that, hey, before we even get to that, next week, be here, 8.30, Australian Eastern, daylight, summer, standard fucking time. 8.30 next week, Sydney time. <laughs> The Mad Dog, Adam Ads McDougal, hey, will be right yes. here. So, so you've seen the original date the Jerd Man put up, and then he realized that I was going to be here, and he's like, "I don't want to do that." So yeah. we moved it to next. Week. Yes, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't want. Um, we didn't want. We thought Bet- the, the super sub here, mate. We need we, we didn't talent. Want, we didn't want Betson bringing down the brand. So um, that's totally fair. Hashtag uh, like, Mad Dog for Mental. There you go. It's happening next uh, Monday. So if you've got and questions, you guys help make it happen. He really did, yes. Did. Especially um, all the people that were hashtagging that nonstop. Um, if you've got questions, nonstop. hit up any of us, including Betson, including Uber. Hit us up on our socials or the Man Shakers page. Maybe we'll do a mega thread on the Man Shakers page. We'll do a, questions from Mad Dog and I'll, we'll pin it to the top. That's what we'll do. Put all your questions in there. Uh, that's it. And uh, and don't worry, guys. I'm going to be asking you about the Parramatta Eels and Newcastle Knights Grand Final 2001. <sighs> <laughs> So don't ask that question this morning. It's it's just me, Lloyd, and Betson are just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Yeah, no, but I'm so super excited for it. Um, yeah. It'll be really keen to just, uh, you know, get a, get some live insight as to, you know, the man shake and the brand and, you know, how, how it's changed everything about his life and how we can t show him how much has changed our lives as well. So it's just, it's just going to be so good. So Absolutely. make sure you tune in for that. Yes, that is uh, next Monday. Uh, be here. It'll be a uh, four-sided right-angled object. Um, now, do do right. you guys think you're going to get all like, uh, you know, starstruck, get a little bit, you know, a bit celebrity? Like, oh my god, it's the Mad Dog. Uh, not, not really for reasons. Uh, I'm more um, because they're because like, yeah. that fat guy. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that takes up the entire shot. I, I think, like, I think, I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. But the boys, maybe you never know. You never know. Let me get that out. Where the fuck is that? Get out of the way. Imagine okay, how yeah. horrible that would be. Bad dog comes next. He's like, oh, hi, Jude. Lovely to meet you. You're like, no. We, <laughs> yeah, we met. Actually, it's so funny. We've times. one of our one of our bosses at work, who's I won't go into too much detail, but um, he's of an age. Anyway, one of my good friends who's no longer there, he's met him probably twenty times, and every time it's it's a different name. Every time it's like you've met me twenty times. You know who I am. No, we don't. Yeah, that's so good. Uh, um, if you are watching this Mad Dog for any reason, you know, just getting a feel for what Man Talk is, uh, thank you so much. We really look forward to having you. It's going to be so good. Yes, mm. exactly. Um, all right, we're talking hobbies and leisure because why not? We're going to chat some gaming because the uh, Xbox is out tomorrow, PlayStation is out on Thursday, and a lot of I know a lot of us out there are gamers, so we're going to chat about that and um, trying to mix that in with a healthy lifestyle. And um, Ash is going to chat about his uh, car. He, he loves his car. And Lloyd will probably chat about all things. Lloyd's very. Lloyd's got his fingers in a lot of pies. He's, he, I reckon oh, you've got countless hot. hobbies. You've got it's countless pies, hobbies. Pies a different word for. Uh, no. Well, he's a Renaissance man. He's, he's got the music. He's got the cooking. He's got the getting out in the backyard and doing all sorts of shit. Um, and the best thing about that is you can sort of get exercise while you're doing it. Gaming, not so much. Yeah. The game, gaming's a little bit tricky, but. Um, I reckon, you're on an exercise bike, Jared, man. Oh, I, need, I saw Osher um, Ginsburg, um, <laughs> Andrew G. Um, he was doing an exercise bike and he was like doing some sort of charity stream where he had like this, he was streaming on Twitch and he had this, he was, I don't know, he was riding like hundreds of kilometers on this bike. Oh, wow. Maybe I need yeah. an exercise bike edit. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. I might look into that. There we go. Or I get Beat Saber. Actually, I should, have you tried Beat Saber? Happened. Yeah, Beat Saber's mad, dude, and you will sweat. Maybe I should Honestly, try Beat you Saber. you will sweat. Oh, What's a beat saber? That's so um, it's a it's a music rhythm game. So where you essentially have like two lightsabers for an easy oh, equivalent, and, you've got to and it, music and comes at you, and you've got to hit ninja. the beats at the right thing. Yeah, yeah it's fruit yeah. ninja, but with music. I wonder how that goes um, with um copyright and DCMAs and that nowadays. Uh, now that they've got a bunch of licensed stuff, probably a little bit, but okay. um, all right. Anyway, I think that'd be good because I've seen a few people do it and you do get a sweat on playing that stuff. Oh, yeah, big time. Can't confirm. Actually, mm. well, I was way fatter last time I played it, so I don't know, but I'm not sure about now. But last possible. time I tried a headset, I had one of those Samsung ones I got with the phone. Mm. And when I was 170 kilos, like I couldn't put it on without the whole phone fogging up because of how hot my face was. <laughs> like I just I I'm... couldn't use it. <laughs> Ryan, can you please make sure, like, next time you play it, you, like, live stream? Because I just want to see your shattered expectations. Now that I'm fit, I'm going to play this game. I wouldn't go that hours. far. I'll just last, like, three <laughs> minutes longer, and I'll be, still be, like, heavy breathing. That's, that's what that's she said. That's that's what she said. That sounds like a... <laughs> <laughs> you fucking beat me. <laughs> anyway. Who got over the live so there, guys? Was it, was it me, Jared, or...? <laughs> so good. It was so good. Um, well, that I, I set you guys up and you said, like, That's it, knocked it out of the park. Yep. You gotta be careful, you gotta be careful. Um, so we got some photos of uh, Ash. So uh, let us know oh, your hobbies and what 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 gives you fun? Like what how do you get now you're getting sort of losing weight and getting a bit healthier and you can do a bit more things. Like what out there are you doing that you is is easier than you used to be able to do? You know what I mean? Like what are you enjoying more now because you're a little bit fitter than you were before? Um, or have you been able to take up some new hobbies or exactly. leisure stuff? Well, I know, you know for me, as you're, like, as you're going on this weight loss journey, you, know, you need to keep that mental health in check and help it work. So what hobbies are you using to keep yourself, you know, going well? Perfect. I know that I've um, got a hobby for all of you, just smashing those emoji buttons. Yeah. I know <laughs> Ash is right into his cars and I've always wanted to go on a hot lap, but I could not fit in a bucket seat. I know that for a fact. So that's something I could actually try and do now, which, which is good. Uh, what about you, Ash? Like, what's what do you enjoy about well, like what what do you what enjoyment do you get out of this, mate? 
<laughs> well, for all those who don't know, that is my uh, Toyota Supra right there. Uh, the picture at the top is when I got it back in 2010, so I've had it for 10 years. Uh, the bottom picture is, I think, uh, late last year. So um, I put a lot of work into a lot of effort. Uh, I got into cars. I've always really been into cars for quite some time. Um, like since I was little, I always had like the the posters of like the Holdens and HSVs. I was very much into like Australian muscle back when I was a kid, you know, V8 supercars, all that. Uh, but then a certain movie came out where they were a bit furious and fast. Ah, Spy Kids uh, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> The very, the very, very angry, yeah. quick Volkswagen. Yes, yes exactly right. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was Herbie the love bug. And, um, yeah, so I fell in love with the, the Toyota Supra. I always loved it. Um, and I managed to get my hands on one 10 years ago. And it's just become a project. And I love getting out and just, um, you know, it, it taught me so much about tools and how to use my hands to complete a task like be it you know uh, uh like stuff that you can do that you can apply to so many different things like building shed or building a roof out the back uh hanging up pictures like just like you know by having these tools you know available and the know-how and the confidence to use your hands to do it it's given me just these amazing life lessons and um it's just been I hate that car, but I absolutely love it at the same time. Like it's just a pure love hate relationship. Um, it hasn't been a smooth ride, but uh, hey. all sorts of stuff has gone wrong. Have so. you ever been on a hot lap? Have you ever done one of those? I haven't done a hot lap. I've um, uh, you know, done skid pan and everything like that with the super. Ask the question, then, Fuzz. No, I'm, like, I'm still here. I'm just I'm getting a drink. Yeah. I'm still Classic. But, um, hey, it is. Ash, what do you think of? <laughs> I'm still oh, here. I don't know. I'll see you later. I'm still here. I'm still here. I could. I got the headphones on. You fuckers. Still listening. <laughs> anyway, Fuck's so, sake. No, no. But like, so this um this car, like, I've done. I haven't done a hot lap. No. Um, mainly because I, I was always afraid of being too fast. Yeah. Uh, exactly right. Yeah. They, they shut the door. No. No. Fuck <laughs> off. I've taken this car out on um the skid pan, which is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, sure. Um, and for for all those who um. You know, may know a little bit about cars and that. Um, like this is this isn't just like a bolted on, you know, different body kit or anything like that. I've done full engine conversion. You know, I've had the gearbox out countless times. So I've uh, done all sorts of stuff to it, like all in my garage. And I've uh, just built up this massive thing of tools. And one great great inspiration for me was uh, the movie Gran Torino. Um, you know, Clint Eastwood. It was you know, me. Said that, I was in that. Get off you, my lawn. You don't. <laughs> Get so my big inspiration is I want to be a crutchety old man. Uh, um, it was it, it was more than the, the lesson of um you know the, he, he, he the young kid got in there and he was like did you buy all these tools like how did you afford all these tools he's like you know you build a collection over time and then you have them for life and that's what really stuck with me so I've built you know this great big collection of tools and I can do you know engine conversions engine swaps gearbox changes and everything like that. like in my garage so it's insane it's been it's been a great hobby uh very expensive one i can't very i can't even do that on um gran turismo i'm I struggle to even do a fucking conversion on that like I, that's 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 a skill that um you know i know that i would never remotely even get close to that so um that's awesome i really yeah. um I appreciate uh, skills that that other people have mastered well, mastered learned that um to me it's just like fantasy science like i'm just like okay cool what was a huge help for me is that I got involved with the New South Wales Super Club mm. years back when I first got the car. And one of my best mates now, he actually is a mechanic and he owned a Supra. So he okay. was very much into modifying his own car as well. We both, you know, I started to get into it, but he taught me a lot of like those tricks of the trade kind of stuff. He taught, he gave me, like, I had no confidence taking a socket wrench. I didn't even know what a socket wrench was, you know, uh, like, you know, putting a, a, you know, taking out an alternator, but he taught me all these tricks and gave me the confidence to actually just dive head first mm. in and get it done. Uh, so it, it, it's a great, great, great thing that I've done, but uh, in terms of for myself, and my own growth, but uh yeah, I hate that car so much. <laughs> At the same time, it's one it's one thing pulling them apart; it's another putting them together, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I don't want to take it apart. I don't want to fix you again. I just <laughs> <fix you. laughs> like, yeah. 
Yeah, one ah. of the um, one of the guys, one of the shakers that comes into um, Jerdville, he he, I don't think it's an official men's shed, but he does. He's got a big shed and he gets blokes around that, and they and they chat about shit and they like fix up cars and they do that sort of stuff. So, I think if it definitely can make it like a group thing with some with some blokes, and I know that I went on a um. Uh, men's um, walk and talk thing in, in Penrith um, a couple of weeks ago. They did it down by the Nepean River and we did 7Ks around. And it's just getting together with I've, one of, a couple of my friends I hadn't seen for quite a long time and we just we just chat the whole way around. So I think if you can sort of get involved in something that'll get you chatting with people, even if it's over underneath a fucking bonnet, just chatting about shit, pass me the fucking 7 eight talk wrench or something, you know, like I think it's good to sort of, I don't know, the flange fucking crankshaft rod, pass me one of those things. I think it's good. I think it's good. Uh, more blokes need to get together and, and and do that sort of shit. I think it's good. I think, I think um, you're thinking of the, the microscopic parcel vein. That's that's it. <laughs> the old um drop tank. Yeah, watch flux out for those. Yeah, the flux capacitor. It's what makes time travel possible. It is. There you go. Anyway, cool. What about you, Lloyd? What do you? What do you? What do you? Besides you, everyone knows you as a muso and the chef. What else makes you? What's yeah. under the hood there? Well, what else? Now I've got to clarify. I am not a chef by trade. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. I know. What? Surprise Everyone, Pikachu. I'm calling current. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I right. just blacked out for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just instantly assumed because I work in a kitchen and cook for a living that I was instantly a chef. Yeah, so you're a cook, and I'm not probably, a chef. I'm a cook. Yeah, I cook. did. Okay. I was going. I was doing schooling. My mum's a chef by trade. Um, I do have a lot of the skills, and I do work in the kitchen and all that jazz. Um, I was doing the schooling for it. But it was getting too hard working, owning a full-time business, mm. schooling, and trying to cover me um, to go to school. And, and actually, the cost of it was um, I couldn't afford to do it. So, yeah. Yeah, but I think if you've got your own business and part of that is cooking food and you are cooking that food, then yeah. I'm going to say you're a fucking chef. Who gives a shit? I don't care well, what yeah, the no, sous exactly chefs right. say out there. Fucking it's, take it's, your Michelin stars and fuck off. It's it's funny, um, like there's a lot of qualified chefs, and you get them in the kitchen and you ask them to do something, and they just have no idea because mm-hmm. all they all they've done is study. That's yep. that's all they've done. So yeah, I work in a pub that has a bistro, and we have we, we've <laughs> been through a few chefs over the years in the bistro. I'll tell yeah. you that much. Yeah, yeah, there you go. yeah. So yeah, other than cooking, um, I just love being creative, and I think that's where my music side of things comes in. I love doing art projects. I love building stuff. Um, I love doing like videos and stuff like that for you guys. I just like being creative. Mm. Um, the leisure side of hobbies, I think nowadays, especially now that I've lost the weight is, um, just going for nice walks, just exploring new territory and just, um, yeah, getting out and about, put the headphones in and just cruise around town and go through the bush and see things that I've never seen before. And yeah, it's, um, cool. yeah, it's good, yeah. So things what about you, you? Um, me, I like um, I can do a lot more with the kids now. Like me and the kids, like we used to wrestle before bed, but that would consist of me just laying there and just them just falling on me and me not doing anything. That that was our wrestle. But now I can you know wrestle with the kids. I you know hang them upside down, run around with them. Um, occasionally, not as much as we used to. COVID's really put a spanner in a lot of the works with things, and I know I blame everyone blames it's COVID for a lot, spanner. but it is yeah. It's a it's a it's a Nine sixteenth flange rod, um, synchro, synchro duck, Duckworth Lewis system um, spanner. <laughs> um, like under the park and stuff. Like even the other day, we're at the park and um, I was swinging on a swing next to my daughter. It was fantastic. Like just doing that stuff like that, and I can go down a slide now. And at Christmas we go away for two weeks every year, and I'll be back on the kayak that I bought last year doing that. And I've got to get myself a new bike because mine got stolen last year. So I'll be getting a new bike. And I'm just going to have fun riding around with the kids. I'm really looking forward to Christmas holidays. We need it after after the year it's been. And yeah. last Christmas holidays, we got we got shit whipped out of there because of the fires. So I'm really looking oh. forward to getting away. And between the fires, COVID, the floods and everything else we've had, had this year, if I can yeah. get on a kayak with my little, my, my youngest, and ride around with the kids. I bought Ivy a bike for her birthday. The training wheels are here in a bin. I'm not putting them on her bike. She's going to learn to ride it like her brothers. And it should be fun. Like, I'm really looking forward to it. Just getting out there with the kids and just having a good time. I would like... They're trying to get me into playing over 35 soccer next year. 
I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, that'd be all right, Jeff. I reckon you'd be right at that. Compared to some of the boys, so, I, I would be pretty fit, but I don't know about that. Let's, uh, hey, let's, let's, let's play uh, some league, Jet. you know? I used to play. I actually, I was not a bad, I was a, a prop. Mm, surprise, surprise. Um, mm. And I got a, had a photo in the local paper of me running down the sideline for a try in like under 10s. And that was like my Al Bundy. You know, Al Bundy, when he scored four touchdowns in one game, it was Al Bundy, <laughs> four touchdowns. That was me. That was my <laughs> playing the fame with the football. I um, played... Um, what was the, what's, what's, the, what's the high school one? It used to be Commonwealth Bank Cup, whatever the high school one is. We played that uh, in year 12. It was pretty good fun. But, yeah. Wouldn't mind getting into that. Or maybe some Oztag or maybe indoor soccer or even indoor netball. My, sisters are all, my sister-in-laws are all guns at netball, so maybe I can just stand under the hoop and put my hand up and grab the ball. I don't know. Anyway, a lot more freedom now. There's a lot more freedom. Like Even even getting up on a ladder and putting up Christmas lights this year is going to be so much easier than it has been over the years. Like Even getting up a ladder... like. You look at the ladder, it's like 130 or whatever it's raiding. You're like, no fucking way, but you still start get up. Sweating, start you sweating. Start sweating. Like third, third. <laughs> yeah. So someone that heavy should not be up that high. So, yeah. No, I'm looking forward to that. What about you, Betson? Uh, yeah, so because I, uh, my weight loss journey has happened like, during a pandemic, I've not, it's not, I've not really made that transition to like, super active yeah. hobbies. Uh, my still were very like sedentary from like, when I was a larger individual. Uh, the only one I've done re- more recently, which is more physically physically involved, is um I've picked up a skateboard again. Oh uh, yes, I, yeah. So I hadn't skateboarded in the yeah. better part of how am I thirty uh, twelve years, thirteen years, something like wow. that. Um, That's cool. And it was just a situation I just never did it, and I just once I moved up to Melbourne, I just never. I still had it. It still stayed around, but I never used it. Do you, uh, do you, do you I, remember everything? Did you forget? Is it uh, like riding a bike or did you have to get your... Because it's supposed to be a lot to do with balance and center of gravity and all that lot, sort of it shit. It is a lot of balance, a lot of center, center of gravity. And that's something that I'm probably having the biggest hurdle with mm. now is because my center of gravity is changing, you know? So, like, as a result, I'm re, I'm, I'm essentially relearning uh, how to do it. Um, and on top of that, like, I'm now... I actually went and got a board that's correct for my, like, my size, my height, my feet size, everything. Like, I just had this same board that I had when I was 12. And obviously, I was a much smaller individual back then. So I... Pff, how big do the boards go up? Like, how big a dude can you be riding a board? Uh, it, so the... the You essentially just want a wider board. It's probably okay. the easiest answer. Yeah. So uh, for those that I'm using a, an 8.5, so an 8.5-inch uh, size board, where previously the one I just had like when, I, when I was younger... Yeah, like an half inch. Oh. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've grown since, since wow. back from the dad. Like, uh, my old board was a 7.5, so it was like okay. a really quite tiny, thin sort of board yeah. um a bit more so good. yeah so that that's a that's a relearn right there relearn how to balance relearn mm. how to I do yeah. have to say betson i instantly assumed your shoulder accident was from falling off a skateboard <laughs> I, I wish it not was. being chased by bird because that would be Lover. a better story because like as by a, danny glover like glover <laughs> plover, plover, <sighs> please don't chase betson <sighs> no more <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you, you got to do a lover at the end. You got to do it. You got to like, do plover. So two weeks before uh, that, like I was skating around a car park and I blew apart my hip, like doing the same thing. Fuck's sake, like, old man like, oh, fuck. But it was awesome. But it was it was good because I was uh, I felt I, it wasn't a bad thing. I st- I stood up and I got back on the board and I kept going. And that's something I certainly wouldn't have done before. You've turned thirty one um, now. You got to like you're getting old, man. You got to like just yeah, bring things, it back a little bit. Things gonna stay a lot longer. And <laughs> look, bounce back. Yeah, Tony Tony Hall can still do a nine hundred at the age of forty. Like I'm yeah, sure that. Yeah, but he's been awesome for you, like thirty. Yeah. Years. <laughs> you can't compare Betson to Bird, man. Jesus. <laughs> oh, wait, I, wait, I, I got a serious question for you because I, I like I used to skate when I was younger and I've been literally like you know since seeing your videos I've been like oh you know I think I might you know get, go and investigate skateboards again. I always remember I used to always be stressed about like my weight on the trucks and the the, the bushes uh, uh, the bushing Bushings, or whatever yeah. it is yeah that it would just like absolutely destroy it like it would come super loose like like are they like weight rated nowadays like I mean. No. You'll be right, Ash. Yeah, you'll be right. Just get harder bushings. That's all I did. Because, like, mm. I knew that... Because, like, w- buying... Because I bought a whole new skateboard. The ones that came with it were, like, just the, the mid-range bushings. So I went and got some harder ones. So when you're heavier, you want to be able to make that a little bit stiffer. And especially as you're, like, trying to rebalance... Like, reteach yourself how to balance. It's not going to hurt to have it a little bit tighter. Go ahead. Give it a bell. You know what I mean? Like, because for me, it's... There, with, when it comes to skateboarding and like a physical activity like that, there is this synergy between your physical self and the skateboard, and you do have to have a a, a bit of a 
higher understanding of how your body moves and works and stuff. And that's kind of the idea. I, I wanted to, you know, relearn my body, but not as sexy as it sounds. You are know, you, I, go- a are you goofy or regular? I'm regular. Front or back? But he's Mongo. Uh, but that's the other thing I'm trying to do as well. Because <laughs> I, from bad habits from when I was a young kid, I, I pushed Mongo. So I had my, I would have my right foot on the back and I would push with my left and then stay, put in a regular stance. So right now I'm trying to break that habit, um, which is really handy because I, I can push switch like a champion, which is nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm also trying to reteach myself that too, which is a minor hurdle. But it's yeah. fun. I can. I can still ollie. I can. I can still shove it, pop shove it. Like, can, can never you, really able can to kickflip properly. Can you chicken McFeast? <laughs> oh, well, so w- once you get up to the uh, five forty board varial, let me know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's it's been really it's been really good actually. Like it, it's it's uh it's super weird. Um, like it does feel like I'm I'm connecting with like a a, a younger me, a younger, thinner, healthier version of me now. I, because I'm more healthier and than I was back then, that's for sure. I reckon you and Ash need to do like a like you need to meet up on like the the ramp, the skate ramp park, and it'd just be like this. And the problem is, like, I do feel like Steve Buscemi, but then I'm also like, fuck it. I have to fucking do it. It's so good. You know, because it's 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 another extension of of what my journey has sort of been about. It's the whole idea is if you know if there's something that a question that comes my way, and if I if I think about it, I'm like, why not? Rather than being like, why would I want to do that? I'm old. I'm gonna be like, why not do that? Yeah, why not? That's kind of the whole. Why not do that? Whole idea, and like that's. Because this this whole year has been about that change, that that mind change, that like uh, physical change, that lifestyle change. So it's that's it's all comes in part of it. Like I made that decision at the start of the year to say why not and try a, 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 a lot, you know, the man shake. I said why not and I tried DDP yoga and you know, I tried why not and then I'm now a ambassador for like a, a, a product. Why not? Like, I mean, wow. that's kind of what it's what my year has been, and it's been awesome. He's the yes man. Just, just, just don't go past any gay clubs. Just promise me. <laughs> when the lion's hungry, he eats, man. Like you know, <laughs> everyone's fluid now, day baby. Why it's twenty twenty, uh, baby. Why? Why not? <laughs> it's the twenty first century, jo- man. Joe Biden's president, baby. Anything's possible. <laughs> hey. Uh, yeah, and on top of that as well, in terms of like uh, other things that I, I I do, obviously, um, I've been a content creator for a better part of like six years now in the video games journalism space. Uh, so I really enjoy doing that. I, I love uh, covering PlayStation, talking PlayStation, etc. Uh, how did the Paw Patrol stream go the other night, the other day? What? Sorry. How did the Paw Patrol stream go? Absolutely amazing. Was My it? son loves it. He finished it that day. Oh, so how long is the game then? Oh wow. Uh, probably about five-ish hours okay. if you did everything. Because I've got and a, like, I was going to stream with the kids. I've got a few games there I was going to stream with the kids. So, was it, would, so it, would it maintain I, I your it attention? And came back and he, he's like, I, got, I finished it, Daddy. I'm like, what do you mean? And sure enough, the credits are rolling. Uh, did it, would, would it be something that you could sit and sort of watch without being, like, bored shitless? Or? You can play it with him. It's co-op. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to do that then. I'm going to straighten out the kids. I think they'd have a blast on that. It's awesome. Mm. And, like, and yeah, cause, because... Uh, so if you go back into the, the, the archives of my YouTube channel, uh, he and I did a video two years ago with like Paw Patrol on a roll. He was two at the time. He didn't really know. He was like, nah. doggies. That's yeah. as much as he thought about it. But now being like older, he's he's been playing Paw Patrol for two years. He knows how to do all the controls and whatnot. Mm. That's cool. And now man. he's like, Oh man, Chase is going to do that. Daddy, you be rubble. You do this, 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 and yeah, we play it together, and it's so amazing. Cool. I think um, um, a lot of I think a lot of people underestimate. Um, obviously, technology has become such a big thing now that kids are into it. I know people are a lot like devices, uh, uh, uh. but it teaches them hand-eye coordination. It teaches them some logical thinking. It teaches them a whole bunch of different things. So, um, I think like my kid, like my eldest, is riding Minecraft and everything. But even my twins now are playing games and you can tell my daughter isn't quite as into the games and she lacks with certain things that the boys are sort of better at so it's it's very interesting i think they actually learn how to ride a bike using the switch little the switch um labo that you build the cardboard out of you can build it and it becomes like a handle uh, like a a motorbike thing that you'd actually turn and get your balance with and i think that's actually helped them ride a bike no it's because what's fun is watching their the cogs turn Mm. Like when you yeah. when like when these little puzzles come up and you see him kind of like give it a try and then be like 
oh no, that didn't work. Or what if I do this? And you like, granted, like, because he's four, you can read him like a book. You know yeah. what I mean? He's like, yeah. he's not, uh, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, mm. Yeah. And on top of that as well, what I, what I discovered uh, about two years ago, I didn't discover, I knew it existed was uh, professional wrestling. So, with my day job being video game related, my hobby, you know, my side hustle being video game related as well. Uh, I needed something to give me a, a mental checkout, like something just to like be that mm. complete n- n- brain numb. So in the same way that like Ash would go and, you know, tinker with his car for a good couple of hours and get that kind of like Zen sort of just like, yeah. <sighs> oh, I got to play golf. It. I got to play yeah. golf and you know, zone Jared out. Like, golf. yeah, you know, right. Lloyd's just, Bees, mm. awesome. Uh, you know, just just there. Lloyd probably just noodle. Do you right, noodle, uh, noodle on guitar, Lloyd? Do you just sit there and just uh, like noodle yeah, away? Yeah, when when mm. I'm not with the family, yeah. Yeah, just, I think that'd be so cool. I, I don't go to the garage and it's all zen. It's like you know, <laughs> you just you hear something drop, ting, 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 and you don't hear it at the ground. It's like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's similar to me on a golf course, but you got to. I sort of treat it as a zen experience now. But yeah, like. You, you, you put your brain in a different space and you kind of like, you know, yeah, you forget the things that are going on around you and you just focus on it. And for me, professional wrestling was, it was dumb and it was mindless. And that's when it turns out that I really loved it. Some people because- need that. Like, like, especially nowadays with so much pressure on everything and everyone and the bills and grinding away at work every day and family and kids and Whatever else. Sometimes you just need to fucking zone out. And if if yeah. seeing Ric Flair smash someone's face into a turnbuckle, then fucking go for it. Who and that's pretty much what it was. Like, the, what got me, there was, they did the show in Melbourne, the Super Showdown. Uh, and the story building up to that was uh, Samoa Joe and AJ Styles. And Samoa Joe's entire storyline was, I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch your wife. I'm going to punch your kids. <laughs> I'm going to punch your dog. I'm just going to punch everything that you like. Sounds like Mike Tyson. And, and I'm going like, to eat you and your so children. Dumb. I'm in. <laughs> And then I've kind of punch yeah, kinda, everything you love, <laughs> yeah, like, and I fell in love with it because yeah, it's okay, so me. stupid, and yeah, and it's 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 been awesome for me. Like it's it's I, I can't underestimate the power of that in terms of just keeping your mind. Oh shit, like, yeah. You know, yeah, I think you need and that. Here, you know, here I am, like you know, because you, you guys like maybe not so much you, Lloyd, but like Jared, Ash, Tim, <laughs> but, like you guys love sports. Hmm. And I never understood it up because I never liked sports growing up. So like, I didn't really have a commitment to any team. I didn't just, just didn't give a shit, but it wasn't until wrestling that I understood sports, not in the actual athletic sort of way, but in the collective of sport, like you, a group of people coming together for one thing. Like, you know, you're invested in the outcome. You, you know, all the players, you know what they can do. You know, their numbers, you know, that, you know, like in wrestling, you know, their finishes. And I never Mm. understood it. And then now I get around with my friends and we watch a pay-per-view together and we're up and we're, we're cheering, even though it's all fucking predetermined and it doesn't Mm. really mean anything, (laughs) but like you get that same awesome feeling of sport, like that collective happiness or collective, uh, just, connection yeah it is that's exactly what it is it's just it's just being there with someone in so, same interest in just sharing that bond it's just that bond yeah. it doesn't matter what you're bonding you know, over like an example like you know we had the royal rumble this year and edge returned after you know x amount of years and see the tall the long blonde curly hair yeah and he was okay. like he would never wrestle again because he was next all jacked up and so we're all watching the rumble and it's like you know number 18 and it's like you think you know me and his music kicks in well, did anyone I, know i'm like Oh my, no! No one. That was a surprise. Oh, it's like right? Game of Thrones style. Yeah, so oh, there, that'd be cool. A, the, the fireworks go off. There's crowd. Everyone wow, in the crowd cool. erupts. I'm on my couch, like, oh my god, it's Edge. I can and dig he walks that. Out, that's cool, man. And he's almost crying because it's the first, like, he's finally returned to something that he loved, and you can see the wave of the emotion hit him. I'm crying. My friends that's are crying. Cool, We're like man. having this beautiful moment on the couch. We're like, Edge is back. That's so cool. I'm digging that. It's just like if Jake the Snake came out with an old python over his shoulder. (laughs) I'm here. Yeah, can't underestimate it, man. It's the same way that when you're like, you know, you're like, your team's in the grand final, they're making their way into the semis, and you're like, you're you're with them, you're with them, you're with them. It's, yeah, can't understand it, man. It's so good. I can see your heart rate has gone up. Like you, you got just, me. You like, got me. I, 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 my my skin was it was going. You got me. Dude, um, like wrestling is good. Like it, it's it's so dumb, but it is really really good. 
All right, let's, let's get spin that away. bitch. Let's spin that bitch. One to a hundred, go, chat. Yeah. One to a hundred. Oh, go. shut up, Dash. Go. <laughs> My friends in the chat give me crap. Go, one to a hundred. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, pick a number between one and a hundred. One guess per person. First go, go, one to guess what we got is the winner. That's it. That's it. Um, so what we'll else spin, we got? We'll so we got we got uh, Mad Dog next week. Um, if you haven't already joined the Man Shankers and Lloyd, plug your um, Stevia app. Plug the Stevia app, mate. Go for it. Stevia app. Um, <laughs> the Stevia app. Plug it. Go for it. Stra- Strata. It's app. better for you than like regular I'm apps. <laughs> um, the Strava app. Yeah, it's going crazy. We I think we've just hit 105 uh, members. Um, it's a free app. It's free to join. Jump in the club. Um, links up to all your devices, your phones, watches, Fitbits, all that jazz. You can log your walks, runs, rides, swims, hit workouts. And um, it's also got a, a leaderboard. So it calculates your activity against everyone else in the club. And each week it changes. So it's a really good motivator. Um, some of the guys on there have absolutely smashed it this week. Just gone. Uh, massive so shout out. It may be a good demotivator. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, big shout out to Jeremy Johnston. He smashed over a hundred kilometers in walks and runs this oh, week. Jesus. Um, wow. I know that, um, Andrew, uh, and- Andrew. Mm. Yeah. Andrew did a hundred K bike ride. This week, one day he did that in one day. In one day, Dude, freaking yeah. lunatic! Oh God. Lunatic! Yep. He smashed it. And Pe- um, Peekaboo's I- he was, he mowed the lawn the next day. He wasn't he was feeling it. I don't yeah, know. yeah. I've been chatting with those boys because uh, they've got the idea of possibly jumping in and doing the Osf- Oxfam um, walk next year, which is a hundred k's in forty eight hours. So oh, by yourself, yeah. Well, uh, as a group. As okay, a group I was going to say, yeah, yeah, those legs so would be chafing. Uh, um, we, we, have, we haven't got a winner, but we've got someone very close. My face so. will shat, will shat itself. Right. Um, who, we've got who, someone who very got? close. Um, Evan, 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 uh, do, 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 do. Evan Stewart? Yes. Yes, he guessed. What did he guess? 38? Geelong boy. 38, he guessed. It's 39. Ooh. The answer is 39. Jeez. He was one away. Evan, you get to spin uh, that wheel. Right. Someone's going to hit you up. I'll hit him I'll hit him up. I'll get him up. I'll get him up. Although I didn't say where his name was. <laughs> That's right. I've got him on Messenger, oh, so oh, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, Boom. All right, there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, Magic Wheel of Fortune, in case you couldn't tell from the intro. Basically, uh, what we're going to do is going to spin this wheel. You've got a color-coded chart on your left. Whatever we spin, you win. All right, let's do this thing. <gasps> what do we oh, got? Oh, oh. Red? Oh. Is that red? We've got red. We got red, the man starter pack. Congratulations, you have won the 10 minute man book by Adam McDougall, a bag of man shake, a, b- a box of man bars, and a shaker. Which, if you had two of those shakers, you could turn into a mega shaker or a super <laughs> shaker. <laughs> that was, such, that was such a dumb post. I'm super. back with it. <laughs> super yeah. mega. I, I, like, I like the fact that my comment got more likes than the actual post itself. <laughs> I'm fine with that. It's like one of those Jedi lightsaber things that you just keep putting attachments on. And you end up with this lightsaber. I was hoping there's someone that had like four or five of them. We're like, <laughs> man, man shake wizard sticks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, congratulations, Evan. And that, like that uh, ten-minute man book can confirm it is a book. I have one, and uh, I haven't read it yet, but I, I'm aware it's, that it does. It has papers, pages. It's a really good book. It's, it's a really good, good I read. Just, I just seen an update from Tim. Congratulations, Tim. Even when you <gasps> do this, a massive update from Tim uh, oh, regarding uh, a certain change of status. Oh well, is is he face? He's, oh, there's Facebook smooches now. Ooh, there's Facebook smooches. Congratulations, Tim. Get in, <laughs> Tim. And congratulations, uh, was it Stuart? Stuart? Evan. So, Evan Stuart. I, I wasn't, sorry, well, yeah, Evan Stuart. Congratulations. I was sorry. Boom. My Facebook has completely destroyed itself. Uh, hit me up, Evan, on Messenger. You can let me know what you want, and we will sort that out, mate. Too easy. We're going to do another giveaway before we end. Um, back into it. I suppose we can... What else do we want to chat about? To go the other way with the hobbies, because we talked about what hobbies that we do do, is there ever been a hobby that mm, you want to do? 
but you've never done it? Like, for some was, reason, it's always hesi- you've I always been hesitant? I was toying with the idea of doing... I mentioned it on one of my YouTube things. I was toying with the idea of trying uh, doing a thing called German tries, and it's all the stuff that I couldn't do before. Like, say, bungee jumping and skydiving, riding a horse, um, riding a... F- eating uh, a horse. R- eating a Whoa. horse. <laughs> no, you go to Ikea and get the meatballs for that. Um, no, all the stuff that I couldn't do before. Like, I remember... I remember going to Dreamworld back when I used to smoke. I was still a big dude back in oh, maybe 15 years ago. I went to Dreamworld and I went to go on that big claw thing that it sort of swings like this. It's like a big pendulum claw thing. I waited in line for an hour. I got there and they put the thing down and it wouldn't clip in and I couldn't even go on the fucking ride. Yeah, and they yeah. said, and then I did the old, that old march, Walk of shame. the head down. Mm. And so I would love to go back to Dreamworld, just go on some rides. Like, yeah. seriously, I would just love to... Like, uh, Queensland. Um, America's quite good. Disneyland and Universal, they're used to big dudes over there. So, like, a lot of their rides, you can go on and you're fine. But, like, Dreamworld, a lot of them are for the... Sm- I think even being tall and broad, I'm sure Uber's got the same problem. Uber's, like, 6'4". Um, even being tall and broad on those rides, you can't sort of fit into. But I'm hoping I could maybe squeeze into some of them with the kids one day. That'd be really good fun. I'd love to do that, so... That's the main so, thing I'm looking really at, Don. Well, I, I, yeah, that's, I think that's really good, Joe, because, like, I, I'm much the same. Like, I avoided, like, all things at heights because I thought, surely this can't hold my weight. You know, mm. like, things like I like abseiling and all that kind of stuff. Oh, like, abseiling. You know, oh, yeah, it's fr- like, that's freaky I'm just, shit. I'm terrified of heights. Just purely yeah, I, I, I'm yeah. with you there. I have major fatty fall down phobia, man. Like, it's not happening. <laughs> Mm. yeah like humpty dumpty had a great fall yeah <laughs> it's that yeah. kind of stuff yeah. um so but yeah look there are a lot of things i want to try but i would say the most more immediate one is either like because i was thinking about it like you know like, as i mentioned before skateboarding or even uh rollerblading uh, i'm not sure like because i want to do one of those kind of fast movement ones i don't want to get a like a scooter or something like that but like i don't know it's just one, something that one involves pants the other one involves a nice skirt yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ash joins a nice roller team. Oh. The team. Wow. I didn't say I didn't say roller skates like with the four wheels. <laughs> yeah, roll I said blade. roller blades. Oh yes, tie up yeah. t-shirt. Next thing's roller disc going everywhere. <laughs> Can you, hey, hey, real men do the limbo on roller skates, all right? Real men do the limbo on roller skates. Hey. I might need to get a new bike or something. I don't know. I'm just like, yeah, but. I, I, don't have any time for that kind of stuff at the moment. What about what about you, Lloyd? Man, is there anything that you haven't tried that you're not as brilliant at? Um, I, yeah, I suppose I'd be a bit like Jerd and wouldn't mind going on some rides again. Although I I hate, I do hate roller coasters. And I really? remember the first time going to Dreamworld uh, was the only ever time I've been to Queensland. I met a friend up there and said, "Yeah, we'll go on some rides." And I'm like, "I'm not going on any ride that goes upside down." She's like, "No, no, no, it's fine." And the first ride we went on had two loops in it and I was just petrified. What don't you, do you, is it the fear of oh. falling or is it feeling your own weight against like yeah, the gravity yeah. of it? Yeah. yeah. I think, I think being a big guy and you just feel like you're just going to rip out of it and just. I've always felt like my chest was going to like cave from that yeah. harness and shit. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind trying skydiving. I think. Yeah. That'd be fun. I, I haven't been too bad with, uh, with heights. Um, but Yeah. We, do, we just we just need we just need someone to sponsor man talk and get us doing some adrenaline shit. Let's go. Yeah. This is J, uh, like uh, if you want to yeah if red if balloon red balloon you want to give us the experiences red balloon come on let's go. Yeah, like I am <laughs> horrified. I'm so scared of heights. If you want some fear factor level stuff, yeah, get me that. That'll work. Mm. That'll be some funny video. Whew. I really like roller Dare, coasters. I like that we feeling. Should, we should do um, Daredevil dudes, but man talk stuff. There you go. <laughs> man talk tryhards. Bang, get in. There you go. Love it. Cool. What about you, hey. Ash? What, what do you want to try that you haven't done? Oh, we've done that. We've done that. We've did that. We've did that. Yeah, well, what about you, Betson? Who haven't we done? Betson? Um, I don't really know. Like, I've been just, like it's it's probably just little things. Like, but it's not, it's not even more like weight related or anything. Just something I want to do. Like, I used to play. A, you know, I've always wanted to have musical talent, but I've never had it. Mm. Uh, like, I played drums and stuff when I was in high school, and I'd like to to go back and do that again. You know, because it's a bit of fun, and I guess being thinner, it makes it a little bit easier. Because a lot of lot of flailing and movement, mm. you know. So it'd be cool to be able to, to go back to do that. But it's just, yeah, get more physical things. I, I think is probably the next step for me. I don't know what they are that they are yet, but you know, as I said, with the whole why not factor, let's just see what happens. If something comes my way, I'll be like, 
why not? Let's give it a bell. Like yeah, you want to come play lot of us, Why not? A lot of us have opened that door. That would be like before we'd be like because of our size and how we were mentally and everything. We'd be like no. But I think now that a lot of us, I think even a lot of um, shakers out there would would think anything's possible. Why not give it a fucking go? We've closed ourselves off to this stuff for all these years, whether we wanted to close it off or we just physically couldn't do these things. So why the fuck not try? Why not? One thing, one thing I'm looking forward to doing is being more open to going to family events. And like those family events that you see them like once a year and actually have them go like look at you and then see that you haven't gained weight. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. I'm actually really keen for Christmas because of that. Like, you know, just to see like, cause people like, you know, at least in my family, you don't see all of your family like no. you know, throughout no. the year. Like, you see some extended family that like, once a year mm -hmm. and I dreaded going to, you know, family outings or events, like even with old school friends I hadn't seen in years. Like I was just like, yeah, dreading it. Cause I was just like, oh, uh, you know, I've like, and I've said it before, like, you, the, you know, they'll be happy to see you for the most part, but a little tiny part of their brains can be like, Jesus Christ, he's gotten fat, you know, like, and I don't, I'm just looking forward to not having that fear in the back of my head. And that's not like really a hobby kind of thing, but it's something that I think goes hand in hand with like, yeah, why the why the f not? You know? Like to add to that, like I want to I want to make a new hobby where I'm just confident enough just to rip my shirt off anywhere. Like, oh, oh what's going on over there? <laughs> like that that would be that'd be nice because like you know if I could I would have showered with a shirt on. Like you know it's, mm. it's nice to sort of go I the other way. I thought that I thought that last year when I I was down to seventy kilos at Christmas last year and I thought. Oh, I'll be able to walk around the pool on holidays and that without a shirt on. I still didn't. <laughs> yeah, still hey, like, no. Honestly, I've you know seen hurt? I've seen you without a shirt, Jared. Like from the pictures that you, not, not, nothing untowards, guys. But oh yeah, when I, I did I, those, but yeah, like, yeah. honestly, honestly, man, like I wouldn't look twice. Like mm. I, honestly, not saying that you're not gorgeous, but I'm just saying like I wouldn't look twice and think, well, you know, that's someone who's obviously lost a lot of weight. I, I'd, I, like, yeah. mate, you, like you, you should just do it. And honestly don't care like mm. i you know i had to force myself to you know go shirtless when i was doing swimming at uh, the local mm. lap pool because it would have just looked so weird if i'm there with like a shirt on mm. swimming laps when there's like some italian bloke who has like you know oh, some like, of those literally old, some of those old dudes out. just like, don't, yeah, care, they don't care those old they dudes care just don't care like, you can't tell whether he's wearing speedos because it's just covered by yeah. belly like yeah. i just <laughs> yeah. he looked like peter griffin you know like oh, eh. yeah <laughs> yeah, going kind of going so back like to what his response. He's just like, get your shirt off, then come on, get it off. Of course. Get it, get going it. back to what you were saying, Ash, about um like events and stuff. This year would have been our twentieth high school reunion. I'm old. Oh, this would have wow. been our twentieth, and wow. I was at the start of the year. I'm like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk in there like that. You know those movies where the, the girl gets a makeover and they walk in. All of a sudden, you know, You're gonna get pretty woman. I just oh, I, I, felt, I, I didn't feel like that. Stops. I didn't like I didn't you know. But I thought. There's going to be people I haven't seen for years and years and years. And I was always big from like year seven, like, like to year 12. Always, or to last year, I was always big. So I was going to enjoy just rocking up and not being so self-conscious about how I was and what people were saying. And and then it didn't happen. I was like, oh, I'll right, have to wait to the 30th now. And, anyway. and, then, and then you shaved. No, but like, shaved. Just, um, just get a friend of yours to go in first and then request a DJ to play Pretty Woman. And then like when it just kicks <laughs> off, like just yeah. kick down yeah. those Pretty Woman, <laughs> walking down the street. <laughs> It'll be great. I was, I was thinking going the other way, you know, he just plays Christina Aguilera's Dirty and in comes Jerd just like <laughs> grinding up a storm. We, um, we <laughs> our local um, RSL had a big... Downstairs, they had a big, um, it's gone now, but they had like a big music room. So you could go in there, it was like booze, and they had like a big video jukebox that was on the screen and stuff and dance floor and blah, blah, blah. Me and some of the boys got down there one Sunday afternoon. It was like one o'clock in the Arvo, and we all drove, but we all ended up drinking for some reason. And we played dirty. <laughs> it must have been nine times in a row on that music jukebox. <laughs> and we're just sitting there, just drinking, just watching just dirty. Watching nine times over it. <laughs> was like, fuck, how desperate are we? <laughs> had to call the missus to come and get us. We've just had midday drinks on a Sunday. Can you come and get us, please? Hey, hey Mrs. Jerd, I'm hammered and I've been thinking about Christina Aguilera. Can you come to me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Good times. Jared, I'm ready to go. Good times. <laughs> Let's make some so wins. But that works. I didn't realize how she was like, she was terracotta in that film clip. She was terracotta in that film clip. I missed what, I missed what happened, Ned. 
I'm just whatever. It's like, it's like you just watching this film clip with the Christina Aguilera like nine times. It's just like called up Jets, Mrs. Jet. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. Uh, too many bourbons. Mr. Bourbon. Jude, too many... you have a massive erection. Too many, too many bourbons. No. <laughs> yeah. It's the pleats. It's the pleats. <sighs> Those were the days. Anyway, uh... anyway Aguilera. <laughs> Meanwhile, now the father and me would be like, why was she wearing those clothes in that boxing ring? Put, put, put a freaking sweater on. Put some tracksuit pants on, please. Back in the day, it was like, hey, anyway. That's someone's daughter. I know. That's, that's, what you, what you, that's what you think now, though, isn't it? No, crazy. Anyway, do we want to, um, do we want to get another, do we want to do another spin? Do we want to, what are we doing for that? Yeah. We worked out what we're doing that's for that. We, we've, we've, we've had our usual meeting chat and we, we don't know what we're doing. So let's, um, let's think of something. Uh, we'll get the messenger going. Lloyd, what song are you singing? Uh, I'm singing for something a little bit different. I'm singing No Diggity. Oh, what? Yeah, no Diggity. Yeah. I like that song. Um, good song. Yeah. Can I? No, I'm not going to ask that question. Don't worry. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. What? All right. Let me just let me let me just let me just Google let me just guys let me just Google something quickly. Really awkward for a second. Yes. Let me just Google something quickly. Can, yeah, can we, you do an acoustic go. version of Dirty? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Back, back street, dirty. <laughs> back street featuring Dr. Dre and Queen Pen. Cool. That's one of my favorites, Lloyd. Love it. <laughs> I'm probably not once it starts. I don't. I have no idea what that is. Few people. Few people have covered it over the years. Okay. I like um I like Chet Baker's version of it. Uh, I know that Ed Sheeran's done an acoustic version of it. He did a um. Was that was that a, a was that a Sheeran rap? Oh, oh. oh, I hate Sheeran oh, raps, man. Ange- oh, was... Angela's message, and I'm like that. Nah, that ain't cool. <laughs> I hate, um, I hate Ed Sheeran when she raps. No way, there is a mouse in our living room. There's a mouse in oh, your house. I've got to see this. See you later. That's not good. Man, mice are gross. <laughs> you think of those humane traps? We get them putting peanut butter in, and then I have to take them out to the bush and let them go. Uh, uh-huh. they get caught in a trap, and I go. Ah! And I make my wife do it. No, I have to. Nah. I, I I used to. My missus got supersonic hearing, so she'd hear it. The trap went. The trap went. And I'd be two or thirty in the morning. I'd be like, and I'd take the trap in the car and drive out to the fucking bush and let this fucking bush mouse go into the tree. Yeah, we like. I, I, I yeah, I somehow learned that I had like a really gnarly fear of mice out of nowhere. It just, I was like, I mouse. was sitting on the couch. I was playing. I was playing some sort of game and it just, it, it rocketed across the lounge room and I did, and like my whole body just froze. I was like, that's just I, can't, a I literally can't move. I had a pet rat growing <laughs> up. I had Rocky the rat. Oh, I can't. Rocky the rat. I can't handle uh, pet rats. We need mouse cam. Take the, take the wheel cam, Ash. Go see them. Yeah, mouse cam. Yeah, mouse cam. <laughs> oh, I wasted up. Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Anyway. Um, um, uh, Bezo well, asks, "Who wears the pants in the household?" My wife. I think all I think all the wives wear the pants. Beezy, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Jack wears the pants. Beezy, oh, I know. My my wife can't just... handle anything that moves, pretty much. <sighs> okay, so there me. there may very well be a mouse in the house somewhere, okay. <laughs> and that's not a euphemism. You um, best go down just... to Bunnings and get a trap. <laughs> now, I got I got traps right here. Oh. <laughs> Cut to Ash just punching a mouse. That, that, <laughs> that sounds like good content for tomorrow, Ash. One man hunts no, but, Ash. Like, that fag guy versus mouse. Like, Ange, Ange is doing like the very stereotypical 40s lady just on top of a chair. Just With like, a broom. With a broom. <laughs> the broom. That's so good. I can't help you, Ange. I have a podcast. Too. That's it. That's Ange, it. look out behind you. <laughs> All right, let's um let's do something where Lloyd's gonna sing. So let's do. We oh. want, we do, do we want to do another number? What do we want to do? Why we got a question? We got another question. Uh, We're gonna do another uh, number. Have we done a question? <clears throat> um. Okay. Um. Betson, think of a question. Uh oh. Do it. Shit. Do All it. Right. Do it in your wheelhouse, if you know what I mean. Like something that is very niche. Something very niche. Let me think. Something wrestling. Yeah, maybe. very niche. Like who won the who won the SummerSlam in like eighty one or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, mm, mm. 
Mm. What wrestler has derived his name from a mineral? No, I don't know, just something. You've got to um, you've got to watch the answers though, because we're not going to know the answer. Yeah. All right. All right. Then, uh, we'll, we'll make it rel- relatively easy. Uh, in last in the WrestleMania of 2019, who were the three women that were in the main event? Perfect. Let's go, Lloyd. Oh, that's easy. That's three women, Jade. <laughs> Shorty, get down, good lord. Baby, got him open all over town. Strict the bitches, don't play around. Cover much ground, got game by the pound. Getting paid is a forte. Each and every day, you play away. I can't get her out of my mind, no. I think about the girl all the time. East side to the west side. I push that ride, ain't no surprise. She got the tricks in the stash, stacking up cash, quick when it comes to the gas. By no means average, as long as she's got to have it. Maybe you're a perfect 10. I want to get in. I like the way we work it, I no diggity. I got to bag it, bag it up. I like the way we work it, I no diggity. I got to bag it up. She's got class and style, street knowledge by the mile. Baby, never act wild, very low key on the profile. Catching feeling tears and no, let me tell you how it goes. Curves the world, spins the verb, love is it verb, so freak, watch your heart. Hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, oh, hey, yo. Oh. Hey, yo. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that? that was fantastic. I have never heard that song before in my life, but I love it. It, it sounds good. familiar, oh, but uh, I liked it. it You've awesome. never heard No Diggity? Oh, <sighs> great song. Yeah. Um, by Blackstreet. Black the Street, winner yeah. was Simon Taylor with the correct answer of Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte yeah, Flair. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Of Becky course. Lynch won both the Raw and the, and the SmackDown Women's Championship to become Becky two belts. Are you saying look Becky? It, look, are you saying Becky likes it? No. Let's um spin that wheel. And then Evan's also shout out again. to Brock Malone. Okay. Oh come on, man. Wrestling sucks. That's right. Uh, we get a video going. Here we go. The men shake. Wheel of Fortune! Oh, oh. Boom, there we go. Congratulations, you have won a, a, win, a spin on the Wheel of Fortune. I'm a bit distracted by this mouse in the house, apparently. <laughs> so let's spin that bitch. Oh, yellow. Oh, yellow, you yellow. Win two bags of man shake. Two bags full. Congratulations. Isn't that convenient? Two two belts, Becky, and two bags, Simon. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> I uh, phrasing on that one. There you go. <laughs> cool. Well, Perfect. Yeah. Well, Simon, get in. It's two bags, mate. Um, hit up any of us, and we will sort that out for you, buddy. Um, GG, well done. Lloyd, that was fantastic, man. I really did, dug it. I think I preferred... I can see how Ed Sheeran would have done that, and I prefer your version. He did. I uh, did a mashup with. Um, he put Thrift Shop in it as well. So. Oh. Yeah. It, it's yeah. a it's a really good song. It's like a real chill step. Okay, I don't yeah. mind. I'm, I'm going to sound really old, night, uh, old white and nerdy with our Yankovic soul. I don't mind a bit of Macklemore. Just cool. Yeah. And Chet Faker does it on piano, and it's really good as well. Okay. Chet Faker. Mm. I always hear that name. I have no idea who Chet Faker is, but I hear that name all the time. Chet Faker, yeah. Uh, is he a country boy or is he much completely no, off place? He's not. No, he's not. It's like Travis Barker. I think he's like a, a good old country boy. <laughs> but no, he's not. He's like a no. he's like a drummer for Blink One Pop punk drummer. No, not Travis. No, I'm thinking of that guy that did the Fortnite thing. Oh, Travis, Travis Scott? <laughs> the American rapper that did the Fortnite dancing. That Travis what's him a G? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Fucking who cares? Fuck it. I'm old. Wasn't the Fortnite it. dance from like no, Turk no, no. doing? No, there was Turk. No, no, poison? he did the Fortnite concert and everyone rocked up to it. He was this American rapper guy, Travis 
someone Scott, I think. No, never. Heard I of thought him. he was like a country boy, but no, he's like a he's like a man, rapper. Anyway, doesn't matter. Who cares? Anyway, I'm confused by all of that. Yeah, me too. Kids these days yeah. with their music. Kids these days with their music. Anyway, yeah, Pac-Man what? video games. Were there hula hoops and Pac-Man video oh, games? And, they're, and they're, <laughs> the curly straws and all sorts of things. Uh, what are you doing this week, Betson? What's going on? Uh, PS5, man. That's pretty much the big thing. Thursday. Are you, are you getting it um, first thing Thursday morning? When are you Yeah, getting man. It? Picking up first thing Thursday morning, bringing it back here, unboxing that bad boy, getting that video on the tubes, and then I'll be streaming the rest of the day. Bang. Sounds good. I'm doing something similar. Um, tonight, I'm going to stream the Series S Xbox with Valhalla. 9.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, go to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Jerdman. I'm unboxing my brand new Series X, the big black fridge. I'm unboxing it on Twitch. And I'm jumping straight into Valhalla on that. And Thursday, I'll be unboxing the PlayStation and jumping into Yakuza like a dragon. There you go. Um, Lloyd, what are you doing this week? Um, I haven't got much planned. I am sitting down with uh, Jamie Ford on Thursday night. Ooh. I'm going to do a bit of a podcast. Is it going to be three-hour the- special? I don't think it will quite be okay. three hours. I've, Extended uh, yeah, I've got, director's I've got a edition. Lot of- stuff to talk about but not quite as long as timmy's okay. uh story but okay. uh yeah no that should be a lot of fun cool that yeah. should be good um, should no, be really other good. than that just just work yeah nothing mm. too exciting mm. cool ash my well, most immediate plan is to figure out where this mouse is um then uh you, yeah, you, you seriously to... you need to lay on the lounge with a light on leave the light on lay on the lounge and you'll, you'll just see it out of the corner of your eye it'll be like a you'll see it yep that's the best thing to do. But get your wife to like to get Ange to hold the you camera, won't find hold it. your You'll phone have to... and film it. And that way it'd be like a Benny Hill skit. It'll be amazing. You like, won't. <laughs> you need to, <laughs> and you need to say, um, Alexa, play Yakety Sax by Boots Randolph. <laughs> and that's the song. There you go. Yakety Sax, Boots Ange, Randolph. Can you find my tennis racket? <laughs> no. You need to um, get, no. a huma- get a humane trap. I'm Peanut butter and some bread. Get- Look, I'm just going to dive on it with a bucket and... Um, that ain't going to fucking work. Are you? Who are you, MacGyver? That ain't going to work. You better be filming this. 50 kilos light up, please. I got... You the, ain't catching a fucking mouse. Not with your uh, <laughs> I got the skills that pay them bills. Uh, other than that, I've got... Um, it is my 10th anniversary, so I'm going to be doing a measurement uh, on the 11th, which is, what, Wednesday, is it? i got Origin... So the, but that video will come on Saturday. Origin live stream Wednesday night. That's on my YouTube channel. Check that out. Um, otherwise... Yeah, potential fifty kilo loss this week. So we're going to see how we go with that one. How, how are you feeling? Do you feel that anticipation, like that? Like I you, just, you. I just feel like that. I'm not going to get there. It's going to be like you know, like seven hundred gram loss. You know, it's just like, you ever, ah, you dick. <laughs> do you ever get on in like the morning and you're like a hundred grams off, and then you hop back in half an hour later after you've been to the toilet again? Do you ever done that? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> No, I just thought it was a, I just thought if you were so close, would you think I need to go and just go to the loo and then I'll try again in a little bit? Poops. Poops I, 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 I would call in sick to work and then just like drink a buttload of coffee and then just wait. <laughs> just, just wait it out. Just sit there going, it's coming. I can feel it. Set your watch to it, 9.45, time to go. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. There's nothing more satisfying. Let's get that out there. There's nothing more satisfying than a nice evacuation. Perfect. Betson, right. have we chat about you or have we chat about Betson? Lloyd, what yeah, are you man, doing PS5. this week? Yeah. What are you doing, Lloyd? I think my dog oh, wants to go out. I've already said, doing bugger all. Oh, fuck, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> my dog wants to go out. My dog needs a nice I evacuation. Think, I, I think I need to go. Ange is free, pacing right, out. So, we're out of here. Uh, I'm going to cool. jet. <laughs> all right, see ya. See you guys. Take it easy. Uh, but we'll be back next, next Monday with a Mad Dog. Mad dog. I'm not talking about this dog. I'm talking about Mad Dog. McDougal will be Mad here. Uh, we're going to do a mega thread on the Man Shakers page. Hit us up with our, your questions, and we'll make sure we can get through as many as we possibly can. Uh, that is it. You guys uh, have a good one. Penny, get out. Get off my face, Penny. Thank you um, for watching, people. Um, fat guy, go for it. I love every single one of you. There's nothing you can do about it. He does. He does. It's very true. Says, bye.